Paper Studio and today I have a one page layout that I'm working for the same order that I've been working on for a while um, and I'm just gonna go straight to the work I've um, I'm gonna try something new today I'm going to narrate while I do a lot of the work normally I don't do that um, mostly because it takes away from my concentration and also because it's a little easier sometimes to remember the product or to have a list of product when I'm um, editing the video rather than right now. Like for instance, right now. Okay. So I've cut um, a piece of white cardstock. Um, I've reduced it by a quarter. Um, a top and going long way so it's an 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarter inch on a 12 by 12 sheet of this very beautiful blue um, cardstock it's not your traditional um, has a little bit of green to it I would say then I have the sheet of paper I've reduced this one to 11 and a half by 11 and a half and this comes from a paper studio paper pad. It's called the Petit Bebe pa uh, paper pack. It's one of the, it's a thinner page. So it's $14.99 for 80 12 by 12 sheets. I love it, it's really cute. Also, it's very gender neutral. It's full of yellows and greens and reds and blues, but not in a, in a, not in a boyish kind of blue. So it's really, it's really great for if you don't know genders. This person, this particular person does know gender, which is why I'm going with so much blue. But um, it's a really great paper pad. In fact, I've used it myself for um, a lot of other projects. This is primarily, this is my favorite reason why to use um, wet glue for, especially for larger pages, because I like to shift a lot. I don't have the greatest measure, so, or hand to go into, so it helps me a great deal. I've cut these strips of paper from the collection. Um, they were part of a larger paper, and um, I actually didn't need them for another project. I was using the paper for another project. So now um, I use these leftovers. I'm going to be using these leftovers for this project. And before I adhere, I want to, these are my photo mats. I just want to make sure that I'm happy with them. They will be anchoring my photo mats in theory. I guess not in fear. I was going to do something more like this. Because the layout has so many pictures, it's going to accommodate larger pictures, there's not a lot of room for die cuts. I just created these small little die cuts uh, using my silhouette and my cuddle bug die cuts. Um, and these are just little baby feet. This is a little 1C 
and a little sock and I just um, kind of made them all different with different patterns and colors and then this one I used um, some lace uh, to back the little sock up so I think this is how I'm going to end up laying it all out so I'm going to go ahead and remove my mats and start adhering and that's going to serve as my guide but I'm actually going to place the adhesive on the border on the strip And I really love working with this adhesive. Um, it's pretty forgiving. It's a Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I know I've uh, mentioned it quite a, quite a few times in my in different videos on my channel. Um, I don't recommend it as much for um, foam for adhering foam and you'll see that what I mean in a minute. So I have backed all these die cuts with some foam um, on the back so that it gives it a little bit of dimension. I wouldn't, even though this works, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend the quick dry adhesive only because it's stronger and it'll dry quicker and you don't want it, you don't want the Tombow liquid glue to dry on the foam and not actually adhere to the paper. You also don't want it to move very much. So the quicker you can have it adhere, the, the better it is. So for that reason alone, um, I'm a really big fan of the quick dry for, um, for foam. This one I probably should have used my ATG glue gun. Um, so I'm going to try this one first. Thankfully, it did not warp the paper as much as I thought it was going to, but I'm not going to give it an, a chance to mess up So this one. So I'm going to adhere this one using my, quick, my ATG. use the Argyle um, cuddle bug embossing folder for the photo mats and um, I know they're going to be covered by the picture and if you're curious to see what a 4x6 picture is going to look like on here it's going to look something like this so you're going to be able to see a little bit of that mat behind it not very much though and that's okay I was okay with that um, It, um, it still brings some interest. If you crop a 4x6 by like 3.75, it actually, um, you can see a lot more of the detail behind there. So it's up to the person who's receiving the layout to either crop or leave the 4x6 as is. a small room for journaling, small area for journaling. Um, I put a little
little brad, a decorative brad, um, again to give it more interest. And now on to the difficult part, which is positioning all of these on the layout. Could do this. I think I like this, these positions. This one's a little difficult for me to place because um, the star in the middle of the 1C is still wet, so I can't really touch it, which is why it keeps lifting and creating, making me mess up. And that's the finished layout. Um, really simple not a lot of elements um really the the pictures there's going to be three larger pictures that are going to take a lot of the focus of the layout um so not a lot of room for die cuts or embellishments i think it turned out really sweet and cute and i hope this inspired you